So what's going on, what's going on, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tay and today it is a new Ben Store day. Yes, that's right. We are here at Carolina Ben Store. It is their grand opening and as you can see, there's really nobody in line. I'm here about an hour early and I'm kind of excited. Um, I wanted to go to Dream Deal so bad, but I kind of promised myself I would come here and I think my man Leon is there somewhere in line. Leon's there somewhere in line. He might be in the car, but I'm not sure. But yeah, new Ben store. We're gonna see exactly what we can find and it is their $6 day. We know the deal by now. Um, somebody called me the Ben King and I will wear that title proudly. Um, and it's raining. Why is it raining? Always raining lately. But anyways, it doesn't matter. We're gonna see what we can find. Go in here. I'm gonna chill out in the car for a little bit and then I will see you in a little bit when the store is about to open. I found him, I found Leon. I told you he was here in my intro and I didn't want to be a liar, but here he is. Number, what, four? Four in line. He's always one, two, three, or four in the top five. What time did you get here, Leon? Uh, I wanna say 5.30? 5.30, I was, I was just rolling out of my bed, just ah, stretching at 5.30. Okay, I'm lying, I was up at 3.30, but still, guys, you know what time it is. Y'all wanna see what's in the store? Hey, YouTube. Oh, you're, all right. He, oh, he doesn't know who I am. He said hi to y'all, so. My name is Dante. I have a YouTube channel. It's called Prison to Profit. I did a little bit of time in prison. Uh, shh, don't tell nobody. They don't know either, but uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I uh, did a little time in prison. I have a YouTube channel trying to teach people that you can come out here and find items at Goodwill, bin stores to make money, like full-time job. This is my full-time job. I'm a streamer too. Oh, okay, what's up? What's your YouTube channel? Desert Letter 87. Desert, one more time? Desolator 87. Desert Letter 87. Desolator. Oh, Desolator. I'm so sorry. I almost messed that up. Desolator 87. D E S O L O. Desolator and then 87. Okay, I got that. Desolator 87. I'm going to leave I, that. I stream, I stream uh, Titanfall 2 and COD. Okay, oh, gamer. Oh, yes, my gamer. Okay, he's a gamer, guys. So I'm going to leave his. I'm gonna leave his link in the description below and also I will leave a little picture right here so you can go follow him. So if you like gaming videos, make sure you go follow him and I'm definitely gonna follow him because I might be a future gamer one day. You never know, I'm just kidding. But anyways, guys, like I said, here's a little preview of what they got in the store. I, like I said, I wanted to go to Dream Deal so bad, but somebody talked me into coming here. I'm not gonna <laughs> say nothing, I'm not gonna point no elbows, but we're gonna see what kind of profits I can find. Y'all know what time it is. I am like in the top 15, so I'm gonna find something. And then I have a secret weapon in the car, but it is what it is, guys. Uh, anyways, I'll see you in a little bit. Uh, bye for now. Once we get started a little bit and got our feet on the ground, we're gonna uh, start doing giveaways. You'll be able to find something to be in for a nice prize. Just similar to what the other bench stores do. Uh, we might try to come up with something a little bit different. We might do a weekly drawing for a big nice TV next week. Mm. I prefer fill the bag. You know, hopefully that means we ain't got a ton of stuff left in the bins and we had a good week. If everybody don't walk out here with a waffle maker, I swear. I'm I'm happy about the waffle maker. That, I'm excited. I hope everybody likes waffle maker. <laughs> It's Belgian too, and then it's like the pork kind. You just literally just pour the stuff in there and just makes it itself. Come on, man. It's restaurant grade. <laughs> I hope to see a lot of Belgian waffle machines go out today. We'll see you guys in as soon as possible. All right, thank you. Okay, guys, countdown is over with. They're about to open the door, so let's go ahead and and get these profits. See what we can find. You're pretty good on that diet, huh? You're actually pretty good on that. Oh, no. <laughs> it's it's it. What's your name on YouTube? Oh, Prison of Profit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> sorry, I probably won't. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I love the honesty. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I hope I got that on tape. I hope I'm recording right now. <laughs> Oh no. I appreciate that. Let's go guys. Let's go ahead and see what this new Ben store has to offer. But before I do talk about what I found in the Ben store, 
and my strategy, I just want to say that everybody in line was just so funny and we just had a good time waiting for this place to open. The owner came out about 30 minutes before, as you can see, and what you didn't see in the footage, he knew who I was, guys, before I even said anything. I asked him if I can record in the store and he said, yes, I know who you are, Prison the Prophet and everything. So first of all, I just want to say I'm very humbled that people know who I am even before they open their store. So that's just crazy. And then lately, every store that I go to, I've been getting recognized. So that's just a testament to you guys and all the support that you've been giving to me. But this is about this new Ben store called Carolina Ben store, which is amazing. And then one more shout out to the guy who was just standing next to me in line. He was so hilarious. A lot of the things that he was saying, he should be a comedian. And then the fact that he just told me that he thought I had a great personality like in itself. I'm very humble when I hear things like that, but I definitely will not be an actor. But anyways, guys, like I said, this is the new store, Carolina Ben store. And as you can see me going through the bins, putting things in the buggy, you can see that there was a bunch. And when I say a bunch, I mean a bunch of the Belgian waffle makers. I grabbed a few of those. I didn't want to grab all of them because I didn't want to be too greedy, but I did grab around three and I'm just going here searching for items, guys. That's the goal. You know by now when we come into these bin stores, we want to hit the bins as fast as we can. And considering that this bin store is a little bit smaller than a bin time or a dream deals, you kind of have to maneuver yourself a little bit faster because the options are going to be limited because of how small the store is and the people who are excited about coming to this brand new store. So you want to get there kind of early, go through the bins, try to get as much profits as you can and try to find the best items as fast as you can, which isn't always the case. You're not always going to get the best items. Sometimes you can get to the bin store first and find the worst items. And sometimes you can get the bin store last and find the best item. That's just how it goes when you're going through these bin stores. So. You never know what you're going to find, and I never recommend anybody going hundreds of miles out of their way to find one of these bin stores because I'm a firm believer in you can find these same profits locally. But if you want to do it just for the experience, then do it just for the experience. Now, as far as Carolina bin store is concerned, I'm definitely already going to put it in my top three since the grand opening. I have been a few times and they've had some decent items in their bins. I don't know what's going on with all of the bin stores lately, but a lot of these bin stores and the items that they have available for the customers have been slacking. This was the grand opening, so we knew there were going to be good items in this store. They do have previews on Facebook, so if you check any bin stores Facebook, they usually do previews of what their store is going to have. And this was an item that was in their preview, and I was so lucky that I found it. And right here, you see me talking for a quick second in that quick second that made me lose an item. So when you're in these bins, if you take any time talking, that's a second that you can lose of finding a potential profit. I sat and talked to Leon because I had found an item and we were so excited about this bin store that when I went to the next bin, guess what, guys? Somebody grabbed the very same make it yourself laptop that I grabbed in the very same bin. And if I wouldn't have stopped, I would have grabbed that item before them. So you have to always keep in mind, the strategy is important. Make sure that you come focused when you're in the bins. But like I said, I'm not gonna go ahead and show you every single minute of me being in the bins because I'm going to go to another bin store today and I'm gonna lump up all my footage for the weekend in one video and I don't want it to get too too long but I know some people enjoy the bin footage so I'm gonna let you see a little bit more of the bin footage so sit back relax and enjoy and if you enjoy content like this make sure that you hit that like button it helps me make sure that you comment on the video tell me if you've seen an item that you would have grabbed on a six dollar day or anything like that and see if I did a good job. So make sure you leave a comment because again, it helps me, helps the algorithm. Make sure you watch the video all the way to the end if you don't mind because again, watch hours are most important when it comes to YouTube. Not likes, not comments, but likes and comments help. So if you're enjoying this video, like I said, make sure you hit that like button. Thank you for watching the channel. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is free and why not? 
And if you definitely love content like this, make sure you turn on those post notifications because I was in line yesterday and I was talking to somebody who said I haven't uploaded a video in forever. And that is never the case, guys. I always upload. So if you don't have an upload for me within three days, turn your post notifications on because YouTube is messed up. Now that I promoted myself for the last two minutes and rambled, I'm going to sit back and let y'all enjoy some of this band footage. Okay guys, um, yeah, in the middle of the store, as you can see, got some pretty good items, man. I really am enjoying this place so far, can't lie. Uh, didn't expect to get as many items as I got today, to be honest. And then I found some few, a few items that I found before that's selling for over $50 a piece. So yeah, we're definitely gonna, we got some good items so far, which I'm kinda, I'm kinda excited about. So anyways, see you when we get to the house to go over all these items. I might stop by Dream Deals when I leave here, but I'll check in in a little bit. And now that I went through the bin store, we pick a spot in the bin store and we go through all of the items and we scan all of the items to make sure it's the profit margins that we want and the items that we don't want, we put back in the bins. But right now I'm just posting on Instagram because I'm trying to stay up to date with everything Instagram and all social medias. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you follow me on Instagram at prison to profit because you don't want to miss out on videos that I drop exclu exclusively for Instagram as I mess that up. But we're about to scan these items and then head out, guys. Okay, guys, just pulled up the Dream Deals. Gonna run in here real quick to see exactly what I can find. Uh, GoPro's about to die, but I have a backup battery. So maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't, probably not. But uh, <laughs> we'll go in here and see what we can find, then we're gonna go to the house and see exactly what we got today. <laughs> Okay, guys, so we're at Dream Deals. Let's go in here and see what we can find. And the good news is, guys, Dream Deals actually opened late because they had some truck problems. So thinking we should be able to still find some great items for it to be a restock day. Of course, I just showed you a bunch of bin footage and I always feel bad when I feel like the viewers are just watching me go through the bins and just seeing me literally move stuff out the way but i also know a lot of viewers enjoy this footage but i don't want to saturate the videos with nothing but bin footage as well so i usually i'm in a dilemma when i go to more one or more bin stores because i want to i want you to see that i'm actually in these bin stores sourcing for these items that's one of the main reasons i do show this bin footage and also to show you that there's always profits to out there be there's always profits to be found regardless of the store that you go to you see me come to multiple bin stores at multiple different times and multiple different days and i'm always walking away with profits for the most part now don't get me wrong of course there are days that are going to be better than others which i normally say and i also understand that resellers have different profit margins that we look for so we have to take all that into account but for the most part i like showing this footage because you can see all the randomness that is in the bins items that i don't even scan sometimes or don't even think about picking up just because it looks like it may be a hassle so when you go to your local bin store or if you happen to come to bin stores in my area you have an idea of what you're looking at and it always changes guys like today's a five six dollar day here at dream deals and these turbo tax things my strategy you see i significant found a bunch of them but they're not selling for that much so i know they'll be here on a fill a bag day i'll save them and i'll put them back for a fill a bag day and spoiler alert i came back on the fill a bag day i found a bunch of the turbo taxes i sent them into amazon and they have already starting to sell so normally when i come on six dollar days i usually get my strategy for later on in the week as well that was the main reason i came to bend time too so i can see what they're going to have on their fill a bag day to let me know if i need to come on the dollar day or the fill a bag day to get items 
So you can take advantage of $6 days, even if you don't find that many great items, you can use those days as scouting days. So although you may walk away with no profits, you can still walk away with knowledge of future profits for a better day. And hopefully you make, hopefully that all made sense. And to be honest, dream deals today was really not that great. They had a bunch of good items, but it just wasn't worth $6. Lately, a lot of these bin stores have been getting slack. A lot of the items that they used to carry, they don't carry anymore. A lot of these bin stores having their little extra L side, which is really ruining the bin part and the adventure of finding those high dollar items. You're not finding those items anymore in these stores. Rarely you may find these items. They may even trick you by posting a picture of an item that nobody ever finds in the bins. So you have to start being careful with a lot of these bin stores and their strategies. You want to find a bin store that's kind of consistent. And to be honest, the most consistent bin store that we have around here would be bin time. And I don't even go to bin time as much as I should. And they always have consistent products. And that's what you want. When you go to a bin store, you want somebody who's going to be very consistent. And a lot of the bin stores in the area have shown us that consistency isn't key for them, regardless of what they say. And I've talked to several bin store owners around here, guys. Um, there's one bin store. I won't name names. I talked to the owner in particular about the items that he carries in his bin store and how he can change his strategy to be able to get more people to come to his bin store because he has a great location for his bin store, but he never has people come in his store because he doesn't offer those high dollar items on his restock days most of his items are only like three or four dollars and most of the other bin stores are following the same suit and i'm not the only one who feels this way there are so many people who feel this way a lot of these bin stores was getting business they're not getting business anymore because it seems that they just don't care it's like they open their bin store they got the people coming in they put a bunch of good items in there and then all of a sudden they just said you know what we have the customer base that we want we're good we don't need to keep improving our bins or keep our bins consistent so a lot of these bin stores are failing with consistency i have 13 bin stores in my area and only three of them are more consistent than not so anyways guys yeah i'm pretty much done rambling and good giving you my rant of how i feel about these bin stores and how bad they are becoming as you see i've been in this store for a long time and i don't have one item in my bag so that should tell you how my day went um but i'm not going to keep boring you and keep talking because i feel like i'm rambling and i am rambling but anyways guys i've definitely showing you enough bin footage for now and we'll go home review all the items that we have and i'll see you in a little bit and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you didn't mind all that rambling and hit that like button for your boy why didn't i get this gain Ugh. so what's going on what's going on what's going on guys it's your boy tay and today it is bin time day yes I'm here at Ben Time and it's like two hours before they open. And I'm about to complain, guys, because it doesn't matter what time you get here, they do some kind of crazy strategy where you line up by your car and then they pull certain people out the line and then I don't know. So some people who have been here since like five o'clock in the morning, there's no telling what order they're gonna be in, but we're gonna see if this is all worth it or not. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, so guys, you see that crazy strategy? We're all stand by our cars and then they literally call us in line and then I guess they're gonna line us up again individually. So my man Leon, who's been here since five o'clock in the morning, he may be like third in line. So that's crazy. Oh shit. <laughs> so I guess I'm in the top ten. <laughs> so I complain about that. But I'm gonna be freezing though, guys. I was technically here first. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about that strategy. Like, you could get here at 4 30 in the morning and still be eighth. And I literally just pulled up and I'm 10th. And there's people who've been here before me and there's no telling where they're gonna be. So leave a comment and see where, tell me what you think about that. But I'm gonna go ahead and sit here, put my little handy there, chair out, chair out, chair out, and see if I can be productive, edit some videos. 
Uh oh. Yeah, hey guys, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is blowing my mind. I can't even lie. <laughs> like, I'm just so flabbergasted. But anyways, uh, yeah, leave a like for that. Yeah, leave a like <laughs> and subscribe to the channel so we can find more wacky stuff like this because this is bl more blowing my mind. But anyways, guys, like I said, I'm about to do some work, and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, the countdown has officially begun. We have four minutes until the doors open. I have a big surprise for you guys when we get to the house. Because my... Battery's about to die. 10? 10. Yep. 53, even. I appreciate it. Have a good one. You take it easy. Have a good day. You too. Okay, guys, that is the trip from Ben Tom. I'm about to go to the house and go over all the items that we got. We got 10 items exactly. Pay $53 for 10 items. So we're going to see what we got. I think we got some pretty good items. One item is going to pay for the entire bag by itself. Okay. Hey, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> and I will see you when we get to the house. Okay, what's going on, guys? So it's the next day, technically. And today I went sourcing. As you can see, I left a little clip in there where I went to Ben Time and I found some items. Also, I'm happy to say I got wrapped another item today. Yes, this new laptop. So that's gonna help me do a lot of different things. And if you wanna check that video out, uh, I made a whole video for it, just as excited I am. Uh, so far, so good. But this video right here, we're gonna finish talking about all the items that we got yesterday, and I'm gonna talk about the things that we got today. Just lump those two videos together, that way it can be all one video. Boom, bam, bottom bang, very nice and easy. But yesterday we had went to Dream Deals, and then that new store that had opened, which I love cannot lie it was definitely great should have went there this morning but we didn't the main reason i went to bend time today was because i knew that this computer was going to be there so i wanted to get there to make sure that the computer would be in the hands of me but we got there got to go through the bins my significant got to go through and get the computer so that was pretty much the end of our day today was the big purchase of the computer and like i said the computer is pretty expensive and we got it for a pretty good price but you can go check that video out later. Uh, but all the other items that we got yesterday at the new place, Carolina Ben store, we will go over those items. And as you can see, I'll just turn you around. The Belgian waffle makers, they were only $6. Can't beat that at all saw these items at dream deals and when i saw one i really wanted one but it was part of the xl side that they have and it was going for 30 dollars. so when we walked in carolina bins days were all over the place so i grabbed four of them as you can tell should profit over 20 dollars a box when it's all said and done but i'll probably end up keeping one or two and gifting one or two and that is the goal um in another video i gave one of those away actually so if you want to check that video out i advise you find it I will give you a hint. It has something to do with a computer. I was so excited about getting a computer. I may or may not have gave something away in that video. But anyways, guys, yeah. So we got four of those items and we spent a total of like around $170 maybe yesterday. Found one of these Bonac speakers. These are like the microphone speakers. Derek actually gave one of these away recently and we found one of these in the bins. It's only gonna profit me like around $17 or so, but I figured I'd grab it wash up kiss kitchen sink this item also was found not really quite sure the sales counts but i will leave them next to me as i speak we have this revle plant-based protein should profit well over 30 something dollars on this item and and again all the items that we paid for was six dollars at both stores and things that i'm going through now were items found at the carolina bin store and this harry potter Hungarian horntail creature. This isn't really selling for much. I believe it's only selling for like $17 or so, maybe even cheaper, but I grabbed it so I can add it to all my collections of collectibles. So maybe in a few years, it may be worth something, but I thought it was pretty cool and I would love to add it to my collection. So I like collecting things I think that are pretty cool. So, and I thought that was one of them. This uh, water floss, this water flosser, this item, pretty sure it's gonna spring in like $20 or so, a little bit more. The Shimano, we know this is a popular brand that I've been seeing recently that works on a lot of bikes. So I believe this item is also gonna be profiting me like a well over $20. This item right here, 
the box was completely like that. You really didn't know what was inside. Got the item open and three millimeter iTunes work tunes. So this item's pretty expensive. I mean, pretty, pretty happy to find this item. Can't, can't believe that item was hidden. It's like somebody put the box inside out. That's what it pretty much looks like. So hopefully when we open it up, it looks still good. Yeah. So as always, we'll leave comps. Found this smart tree SD D500. This is like a drone case. This is selling for well over $35, $40, somewhere around that range. Couldn't pass this up. Had to buy this item. This is the Kano Make Your Own Tablet. Or the, actually, this is the Make Your Own Laptop. They have a Make Your Own Tablet and a Make Your Own Laptop. So this is the Make Your Own Laptop. This item is selling anywhere for like $50 or so. When I first found it, I thought it was gonna be worth way more than that, but it's not. It's only worth like around $50, but you really can't beat that again. A $6 day item. And this is one of the items that they took a picture of before we went to that store. I never get the item that you normally see that they take pictures of. So I was happy to see that one. I should have had another one, but I got distracted and was in there talking, running my mouth in the bins. And when I went to the, bin, the next bin, somebody found it literally right before me. So that's because I was running my mouth. That's what I get, right? Anyways, we found the smart Wi-Fi camera. Every time I get a camera, I usually grab them because they normally do pretty good for me. This 964E remote control truck, probably gonna only profit like around 15 or $16 on that item when it's all said and done after I get it shipped out or so. But when I was checking comps, it shocked me that it was selling for like around 30 or $20. So I just grabbed it just because, and if not, I can always gift it. And one of the biggest finds that I may have probably found yesterday is going to be this Hype Vision. This is a security system. This item is selling for like 200 and something dollars, just the base by itself. I wish I had the cameras to go with it because then it would be selling for like around $1,200, guys. But I might try to test it and see if it works and if I can connect it to some of the other cameras I have around here. And if I can connect it, I can make it on my, and if I can connect it and make my own little security system out of the cameras that I have, that would be wonderful because then I can put that all together and then maybe charge like around five, $600. Probably not, but that's just an idea I may have. Or I might just sell the base by itself and put it on auction for like around 150 and see what I, and see what I can get for that item. <laughs> We have this watch repair toolkit selling pretty pretty decently. Gonna have these sales comps next to me as well. I believe they're selling for like 30 something dollars or above. This SI LED headlight, they are selling for $30, between 30 and 40 something dollars. Shocked me because I ran across a few of these and I didn't grab them. I don't know why. I should have just grabbed them initially, but I didn't. Uh, I do that a lot sometimes. Sometimes I'll see some items and then I'll overlook them and then I'll see them again and then I'll grab them the second time that I see them and then I'll scan them. Because in the beginning when you first get in the bins, this is kind of kind of frantic. So you're trying to find the best products immediately and you overlook like small items like that. And that's what I did. I kind of just like cast it to the side. Although I should have known it was fairly expensive. But a lot of the LED headlights, you really can't get that much money for. That just happened to be the exception to the rule. And then we found two of the Eye Health Airs. These are selling for roughly anywhere between $50 and $68 or so. Grab two of these. Can't believe that. So good profits in those items. We found a Microsoft Professional. We know that's going to sell immediately as soon as I listed yesterday. Also, we found a Microsoft Home and Student yesterday. Can't beat that. We know that item is going to sell immediately pretty much. Found this weather alert radio system. I thought it was pretty cool for, I can't remember why. Oh, because it charges smartphones and everything at the same time. So I figured it'd be pretty cool to have, maybe sell, who knows. And then we're gonna have a bunch of these uh, Motorola Boom 2s. I got a bunch of these guys. I'm gonna plan on sending them to Amazon because I can send them to Amazon used. And most of them, all of the boxes are just like really messed up, but they're new. So I'm gonna put them in used like new and each one I'm going to profit I believe it's like 13 or $16 per box. And that's my profit after my purchase price. So, and I have a few of those in here, as you can see. Then I found another one and this is going for higher than the other ones that you see. I think my profit margin is like around $25 on Amazon for the smaller box version. 
And then I saw this converter for a car. You can like plug this into your car lighter thing and then you can plug in like your laptop or whatever. I thought that would be pretty handy. I can use that on the go. Pull up at Walmart, have my laptop with me, use their Wi-Fi and do some little business on the road. So that will definitely come in handy, especially in the summer when I plan on going on a road trip. Okay, so then after we left the Carolina Bend time, we left there and we went straight to Dream Deals. And then when we got the Dream Deals, I didn't think I was gonna find any items because we had got there a little bit late. But their truck didn't come in time, so I think we got we got there pretty much right after they really opened the doors. But I still really didn't find too many items, guys. Uh, grab this cost plant-based proteins. I'm selling for well over like $35 or so. We found this two pack of trace minerals. I grabbed it because I just sold a one pack for like $14. So I know a two pack can sell for well over 30, but I'll probably still sell them individually. Found this Airfly, it's like a wireless headphone set. You can like connect this anywhere and then have your wireless headphones play anywhere. Found this end of this revolver, revolver, <laughs> revolvers in whatever guys, whatever, whatever. Well, we found it in this gun piece and it's selling for roughly $30 or so. <laughs> found this Fortnite Battle Collection. I guess a significant found this. Fortnite Battle Collection bus. I'm not sure exactly what it's going for. This air pump, same thing. I think it's going for well over like $25 or so like that, something like that. Then I found this lithium stainless steel clippers. As you can see, it's not in there, but I kind of like took a gander, a peek, and it looked like it's looked like it's in the back. Brand new, it's selling for like seventy or eighty dollars. Of course, it's going to be used or so. So, and used sales comps are still worth well over thirty-five dollars, and that's why I really grabbed it. Hopefully, I can sell it. And that's pretty much all the items that we grabbed from Dream Deals. And then obviously we woke up today and we went on that long, long, long journey to Ben Time, which is really pretty much right down the road. And then we got the laptop while we were there. And then we grabbed a few other items too. Not enough to pay for the laptop, but we're gonna get close guys. Maybe, maybe, maybe we got close. In this bag right here, we're gonna have this real art 16 piece or 19 piece set. Comps on Amazon are roughly $59 to $63. So I should profit like around $40 on this item when it's all said and done. Maybe a little less, $36 or something. But can't beat that having $6 into it. Found the zero water pitcher. Selling for like $14 plus shipping online. Some people are selling it for like $30, $40. Not sure if I want to keep it or sell it. I just grabbed it because I was conflicted, guys. And it only cost $6. Then we found this item right here that I'm not gonna turn around because obviously, hmm. So I'm only gonna profit like around 10 or $15 on that item, but they sell pretty good for me, so. Then I'm gonna have this, uh, the speed light, whatever it is, some kind of camera functioning piece. It has pretty good comps. I think it was selling for like 80 something dollars on Amazon, but I was restricted on that item on Amazon, so I'll put it on eBay, and I think comps were selling similar for like around 60 or something. So I should profit well over 40 or $50 on this item when it's all said and done. Found some Pokemon cards too, guys. Found some Pokemon trading cards. Hopefully there's something that's very expensive in here. Oh, I feel like they're, they're still in the pack too. So I don't know. I don't know if they're good or generic, but we're gonna find out. I have some more to go with them. So I might just open all them together. We have this MLB The Show. I'm a big baseball fan, or I like baseball, especially when you play the games. I think that's like one of the best baseball games out, so paid for it. Y'all know I'm a hoodie fanatic. I found another hoodie to be revealed in a future video. And then in here we have another item that we can't really pull out, but I mean, I probably could, but I'm not going to. I'm only gonna make like $10 per box, but I only paid $6 for the entire bag. And those are all the items that we grabbed from been time today and that was a total of not sure i know i paid like 50 something dollars for all the items that i grabbed today shirt and a wrestling figure oh what's going on guys <laughs> um yeah i got this from buffalo picker 
So I'm trying to open it up and see what it is. You know, I normally don't do like unboxing when I get gifts. But uh, this is from a fellow YouTuber. Um, he lives right down the road. I thought he lived in Texas for some reason, but he lives in Georgia. So I'll probably go see him soon anyway. But uh, I wanna open this box up and see exactly what's inside. AJ Styles. Oh shit. <laughs> AJ Styles. So you must know I'm a wrestling fan. So you know I'll definitely be uh having one of these. I'll keep one as a collectible. Uh thank you. Appreciate that uh Buffalo. Yeah, appreciate that. Uh, I'm gonna leave a description to uh, Buffalo Pickers channel in my description box below and as always I'll leave a picture right here as well So make sure you go follow and subscribe to Buffalo Picker. Yeah, really appreciate that and I really do like AJ Styles too He's like in my top five. So yeah, appreciate that man. Here out and see here out and see <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the channel. Please make sure you like share and subscribe Make sure you bless somebody today and I promise you I'm gonna bless somebody tomorrow at this point in time until we meet again Tay is out.